Good morning Year 1, I hope you're all okay. We're starting today's maths lesson with the flashback 4. And the first thing we need to do is to work out which number is shown on the dice here. And then we've got the four questions to move on to afterwards. So I'll begin by reading through each question for you and then give you a chance to answer them. So question one says the children get into groups of two. How many groups will there be? For this one, think about circling the children in twos and then count how many groups there are. Question two says write two calculations to describe the array. For this question, you are writing two different repeated additions. So look at your columns and rows and think about two different calculations that you can write down. Question three, the orange weighs something cubes. So if, if we have a look at the balance scales, we can see they are balanced. Count up how many cubes the orange weighs. And for question four, find the total of 10 and nine. Remember, if you're finding the total of something, you are adding the two numbers together. So if you pause the video now, that'll give you a chance to answer the questions. And I'm now going to go through the answers. So starting up here with the dice, we can see that each one is showing us five. So we can count in our multiples of five to work out how many they are showing all together. So five, 10, 15. And question one, so the children get into groups of two, how many groups will there be? So let's circle the children in twos. And now we can count how many groups we have got. So one, two, three, four. And question two, write two calculations to describe the array. So as I said, this is using our repeated addition. So if we begin by looking at the columns, we could do two, add two, add two, add two, add two. So we're adding the same number together more than once. Okay, and then to work out the answer, we can count in multiples of two, two, four, six, eight, ten. The other way that we could have written the calculation would involve looking at the rows. We have got two rows, each with five cookies. So our second calculation would be five add five equals 10. Question three, the orange weighs, let's count up how many cubes, one, two, three, four, five. And question four, find the total of 10 and nine. So I'm going to put 10 in my head and then you can count on nine and you would get 19. Today's lesson is all about finding a quarter. Before we talk about what quarters are, we're going to remind ourselves about finding a half. Here I've got some different shapes. If I wanted to find a half, 
of the rectangle to begin with. I could draw a line straight down the middle. And this would give me two equal parts. Just one of those parts would be a half. I could do the same with the square. I'm going to go across this time. And I have my two equal parts. One of these is a half. And the same with the circle. I'm going to go straight down the middle to make two equal parts. They are both the same. Now, if I wanted to find a quarter, I am splitting my shape into four equal parts. To do this, I can begin by finding halves. And then I can draw a second line to find quarters. So as you can see, there are one, two, three, four equal parts there. Just one of these parts is a quarter. Then we can try the same with the square. So if we go straight down the middle and then across, we can make four equal parts. And then we can try with the, with the circle by doing the same thing. And as we can see, we've got our four parts, which are all the same. This time we've got some different shapes and we're going to begin by seeing if we can find one half of each shape. I'm going to begin with the heart, with the heart and draw a line straight down the middle. And as you can see, I have been able to make two equal halves. And I'm going to try the same again with the square. And I've managed to make halves. Finally, with the arrow, if we look carefully, they are both exactly the same, so I have managed to find halves. Now what I'm going to do is see if it's possible to make quarters. So I'm going to draw a line across the other way. Now I have made four parts here with the heart, but not all parts are equal. So I have not been able to make quarters this time. They must all be the same. So let's see if we can do it with the square. Okay, so we can see that all parts this time are equal. So I can make quarters using a square. And finally, let's try with the arrow. So we can see here that the four parts are not equal. So you cannot make quarters using an arrow. This time we have got a circle and it has been split in different ways. We need to match the label to the correct picture. So starting with this one, we've just got one part. It's a whole circle. Here we've got the same circle, but it has been split into one, two parts. And one of the parts has been coloured in. We can see that both of them are equal. So this is representing a half. Finally, we've got one, two, three, four equal parts. And just one of them has been coloured in to represent a quarter. So what is the same? Well, each time we've got the same size circles. What is different 
the size of our halves and quarters are very different. You can see that one quarter is much smaller than a half, and a half is smaller than a whole. Here we've got three rectangles. We're matching the labels up again. Beginning here, we've got a hole. The rectangle hasn't been split into any parts. The second one, we've got a rectangle with one, two parts. And just one part has been coloured in to show a half. And finally, we've got one, two, three, four parts. And just one has been coloured in to show a quarter. What is the same this time? Again, we started with the same size rectangle. What is different? The sizes of our parts are very different. So here to find a quarter, we have gone across again to split that half into two parts to give us a total of four parts. Here we've got four rectangles. We can see that each rectangle has been split into four equal parts. So that is what is similar between the four rectangles. What is different is that a different part has been coloured in each time. Each time they're showing one quarter, it's just a different part that's being coloured in. But that doesn't matter as long as just one of the four parts is being coloured in. And last of all, we need to tick the shapes that show quarters. Starting with the circle, we can see we've got one, two, three, four equal parts. One part has been coloured in, so that is showing us quarters. Now with this second one, we have got one, two, three, four parts, but they are not all equal because this final part here is much smaller than the other three. So because they are not equal, they are not showing us quarters. With this triangle, we've got one, two, three, four, equal parts, they are all the same and just one part is coloured in to show one quarter, so that is correct. With the circle, we've got our four parts but they are definitely not all the same, these two are smaller than the other two, so that is not showing us quarters. And with the last one, we've got one, two, three, for five equal parts, but we know that for quarters, we split a shape into four equal parts. So that is not showing us quarters. Now there is a practice question here where you need to color in a quarter of each shape. So you can see they've been roughly divided up for you into quarters. You just need to color in one quarter of each shape. And as always, there's a White Rose website with the video to support you. And there are some silver, gold and platinum challenges for you to try.